Hello uh, again YouTube land. thought I'd uh, show you a nice little electrical panel. The, the existing 200 amp service is actually in the garage and this is a sub panel feed and it actually comes in here and surprisingly enough that's kind of hard to see but there's one, two, three and the fourth one is right there and it's the it would actually be the ground. Because the sub panel here, it should be the ground and neutral should be separated. But what we have here is we have the neutral coming, <laughs> the neutral uh, coming in here. But then, if you come over here, there's that ground wire. So this should have had uh, ground buses on this side and this side. And uh, I don't. Don't see where if they actually had. They don't even have a uh, ground isolation, so the box actually isn't grounded. Not that I can see. I would thought. It been, yeah, it should have been right there. It looks like. But anyway, this is a QO panel, 20 space. And uh, over here, I actually pulled some out, but you can see there's some more. There's one, two, three, four under one terminal. And they've just overloaded this. I mean, there's double tap, double, or not double tap. Well, actually, there some cases there were over here, double tap on one breaker. But, you know, cheater, cheater here, cheater here to get more circuits. So, and then there's a sub feed here that goes out, and there it's only a three wire sub feed, and they, they rolled the wire up in the attic, and that you didn't. I mean, there's like an extra 20 feet sitting up in the attic. It's not even doing anything. I mean, we have cable clamps that aren't tightened. We have wires going through without grommets or uh, Romex connectors. Same way there. Same way down here. Um, it's just kind of a mess, but uh, we'll uh, do a little updating probably in a few weeks here when the when the new panel box comes in, and uh, show you what we got. 